Before I start this video, let me take 30 seconds to tell you something about Exergic. Exergic is India's most trusted and most experienced institute for online gate preparation. I am Chandresh Mahajan, founder and chief educator at Exergic. I am an All India Rank 37 in gate mechanical engineering, an ex Indian oil officer having 7 plus years of teaching experience as of now. These are the GATE 2021 Mechanical Engineering Toppers from Exergic. You can find their preparation strategy on Exergic's website. To know more about our GATE courses, you can visit our website or contact us on these details. Also, you can download Exergic GATE preparation app from Google Play Store. The link is available in the description of video. Hello dear students, have a look at this image here and observe this image. This person is trying to shoot a target, right? And she knows that one eye needs to be closed. But why one eye needs to be closed, that is definitely not known to her. Why? Because she has closed the wrong eye and this eye needs to be opened and this eye needs to be closed. So she knows what she is doing, but she doesn't know why is she doing that. And that's why she is never going to hit the target. And this image I am representing for a reason, right? This image represents the situation of any common gate aspirant while he is writing test series. Everybody knows that yes, test series is important. It is something that you must write. But since the reason behind test series is not known, that is why students are not able to start test series on time. They are not able to benefit from the test series, uh, you know, on an optimum level. They are not able to improve and definitely they are not going to get to their best rank in gate. All of this because of just one reason that they are not knowing the reason why they need to write a series and that reason you yourself should think about it if i tell you the reason it might be possible that someone else will give you some other reason third person will give you some other reason maybe a person will give you a reason not to write a series right maybe you yourself will give you some reason that no no let's not write a series right now i will write the test series after one month after two months when I will complete more syllabus, right? You yourself give reasons uh, to you to delay or not to write test series, right or not? In this short video, I will tell you a funda that will help you not only in gate, in test series, but, but in general in your life. And this is again something that I implement on my own, right? I don't tell things, just I listen to them listen to the things from one place and I am just telling you at this place. These are some of the things that I implement in my life and I see that yes, they work and only then I share those things with you. The thing is a 5 why analysis and this analysis if you understood, if you have taken feel of it, what is it? Decision making and reasoning will be a lot easier for you in life. This approach is that whenever you have a problem statement, any problem, anything that you want to understand better, ask why five times and at max by fifth why you will be at your target at the exact reason. It is called as five why analysis. For example, you have to write a series, you should write a series. Why? Ask yourself why? Many of the students will give different reasons for this why. Some of them will think that uh, I want to see my rank, where am I standing, I want to compete with others, I want to see how much uh, you know concepts I have understood from that topic or from that subject. Reason can be different. Ask one more why. You want to understand the concepts? Why? You want to understand where you have reached in that specific subject? Why? Or you want to see yourself as compared to others? Why? The next answer would be, what should be the next answer? So that I can improve it. So that I can see what are my strengths, what are my weaknesses. 
and accordingly I can improve it, right? Some of you may not reach the second part of this. Some of you will say, so that I can see my performance, so that I can see where am I lagging, so that, so that I can see what type of mistake I am making. Ask one more why. Then you will reach that yes. Why? Because I want to improve that. I am looking for the analysis of my performance, what is my strength, weakness, so that I can improve it. So if you start with the question that I have to write test series and if you keep on asking one why, second why, third why, fourth why, by third or fourth why, you will get your answer that we are writing test series or you are writing test series because you need to improve. That's the real answer behind writing test series. And if you want to improve, why would you delay your improvement? Why would you not write a test series just because you are not able to get marks or maybe some of your portion is left? Improvement should be done daily. Improvement is not something that you can delay or defer to do after two months or three months. Many students don't start the test series on time, right? They wait and wait. That one magical day will come when I will get the confidence to write test series, then I will start. One magical day will come when I will feel my syllabus is completed, then I will write the test series. They keep waiting for that one magical day that never comes. And when it comes, it is too late. Don't wait for that feeling that my syllabus will get, you know, there's a feeling which you get when syllabus is pretty much over. And many students wait for that feeling and due to that wait, they harm themselves. They harm themselves because the improvement they could have done in those subjects, they have not done because they have not solved the questions. They don't know where they are making mistakes, what types of silly mistakes they make, in what topic they are more strong, in what topic they are comparatively weak, in what topics they need more concepts, in what topic they are making calculation mistakes. A lot of such things and silly mistakes are there which you can learn only when you write a test series in a time bound environment when there is a timer running, right or not. This is the real purpose of writing test series and ask this yourself, right. This is not something that I am telling you, I am encouraging you to ask these five at least three or four whys. That why are you choosing to write a test series? The end answer will be similar to this one only. Right or not? Many aspirants wait for December, for January, for November also to start writing test series. How foolish is that? Why would you delay your own improvement? It does not make any sense. And when I say improvement, I am not saying improvement of marks. This is again something where students are confused. They keep thinking and keep expecting that the graph of their marks will go like this. It will not go like this. It can go like this for very rare aspirants, right? Who knew very little in the beginning and they kept on improving. But this is not the curve of marks that you should expect or try to achieve. Because difficulty level of the test keep on changing now. You wrote one test, maybe the next test is harder, is even more difficult, right? Your marks can go down. That is why don't try to chase such unrealistic graphs. You may be hearing the story of some toppers who were able to do it. In the initial days, their marks were very low and it increased to a good marks, to a good number at the end. But that is not something that you should always target. Let me clear one thing here. Not all toppers have that graph. Many toppers who are getting a rank in top 100, top 200, their marks more or less become stagnant at some point, right? So don't try to achieve this graph. But what you should try to achieve is improvement in yourself because test series is meant to know yourself better and improve yourself as an aspirant. Now, what do I mean when I say that? Let me briefly sum it up. You should be knowing in which subject you are strong, in which subject you are needing improvement. In what topics you need to understand the concepts better. 
what types of silly mistake you are making how to minimize your mistakes how to approach nat questions msq questions how to overall make a strategy for those exam hours all these things and answers you can get only when you write test series because while teaching while giving lectures the thing that is taught to you is more or less common for everybody right or not the concepts that are being taught they are more or less common for everybody yes they can be explained in more depth so that everyone is able to understand it but these things are unique to yourself the strengths weaknesses where you are making silly mistakes these things are unique to yourself and you will be able to know them when you write the test series that is why don't delay writing test series initially you may not be able to get marks but never forget the purpose of writing test series watch this lecture again and again whenever you are going to write a test watch this video sorry i said lecture watch this watch this video once so that in your mind you know the purpose of writing the test series go ahead my best wishes in the coming days i am going to put up more content so that you will be able to analyze your test better because analyzing the test is also a skill which not all of the aspirants have i will also be guiding you about that till then i wish you all the best as i clearly said start writing test series don't delay your own improvement all the best